get the obvious question out of the way. Yes, this is an Eskimo brand ice shack. I do not believe um, any actual Eskimos were used or harmed in the making of this ice shack. Fishing buddies, it's me, Mark, otherwise known here on YouTube as Eating Lunch. This is my review of an early birthday present that I just got last night. Eskimo Quick Fish 3 Ice Fishing Shelter. Supposedly holds up to three people, which is a major upgrade size wise compared to my previous shack. So, on the box, there's, a, there's lots of specs, including the size. I should be able to stand straight up inside this thing. But the cool part, if you can see it, look at the size of the crappie this guy got. You think this shelter will allow me to catch such crappie? I am 100% certain that it will. Let's open it up and check out what's inside. There's a lot of tape here, guys. Oh, got it. Okay. Ooh. Comes in a bag. As you can see, it comes in this big bag that has shoulder straps on it. Instead of dragging it behind you like I did with my previous shack, I'll be able to walk around with this thing strapped onto my shoulders. I don't think it makes me any more likely to fall down on the ice. It feels pretty secure. Uh, the thing says it weighs 23 pounds, which is less than, I believe, less than what my current shack weighs. So I can tell right off the bat, though, one difference between this particular shelter and what I'm used to is what I would do is pop up the shelter, put basically all my stuff in it, and then drag that all out onto the ice, kind of using the shelter itself as a sled to carry all my gear. So obviously I'm going to have to... Uh, you know, use a sled to pull the rest of my gear out with me. I'll work all that out later. For now, let's just stick with the tent itself. Now, hopefully this isn't like one of those big air mattresses or something where once you take it out of the bag, you can never get it to fit back in again. I guess we'll find out. Now, I'm in my basement right now where it's nice and toasty. We'll see what this is like out on the ice as well. You know, everything's harder in the wind in the snow, on the ice, etc. Okay, so sliding it out. Looks like feet went in first. There's a bag here, which appears, and a Velcro bag here. Which, okay, so this includes um, anchors, screw in ice anchors to go around the shelter and, and hold the thing down which I imagine is quite important. Otherwise it could very easily turn into, a, you know, basically a parachute and go sailing off into the wild blue yonder. I also have no idea what this is. It's got a clip. Oh, I think it's a clip for like, if you have to hang like your registration tag or something like you have to do in some states. So you clip this to the outside, I'm guessing. Product registration card. It does come with instructions. I'm not going to use these unless I absolutely have to. Velcro strap, easy enough. Um, first thing I noticed, it might have been nicer if this was actually attached somehow to the shelter. Otherwise, it's kind of just hanging loosely and one more thing to lose. I suppose I'll just toss it inside the bag and it won't be a big deal. Okay, so it's got feet. Wait, were those the feet? The I'm, I'm starting to wonder if I should read the instructions. There's lots of these little handles around this thing. I'm honestly not sure. I believe this here is the top. Is this top? see that there's some handy little baskets on the inside. That's nice. 
I'm going to resort to reading the instructions. Okay, I'm not going to read the instructions just yet. This. I can tell it's supposed to be much easier than this. Illustration one on a read French. Remove shelter from backpack carrying bag. I already did that. Remove tie strap from around the shelter. I already did that. Lay the shelter flat on the ground. Check that there's no material twisted or overlapping ends of any poles. Do not force shelter with folding or unfolding. Watch for the entanglement of poles. I may be suffering from pole entanglement. Got to be a trick with this because I don't see how to make it flat. Grass, the webbing loop, sewn into the eyelet located in the center of the roof, pull outward until the roof section pops forward. I believe this to be the center of the roof. Hey! Popped over. Ah, okay. It actually was way easier than it seemed at first. Ooh, this thing's gonna be big. It's like a big crazy space dome. It's almost the ceiling in my basement here. How about a visual tour? Eskimo Quick Fish 3. I got a window in there. Use some kind of air vents. This, I'm guessing, is the spot where you could clip that thing I showed you before. It looks like we've got doors on both sides. And as you can kind of see, the walls point out. I like that design because what that means is when I'm sitting in this thing or when we, as a group, as people, fisher people, as humans, as humanity, are sitting inside this thing, it's going to be more elbow room because it's bigger around the circle at sort of that elbow height if you're sitting down than it is at the top or the bottom. So lots of elbow room in this thing. Ooh, it's dark in here. Spooky. Spooky. Okay, I'm in. It's dark though. We got a window open. Two windows. Three windows. Four windows. Fisher folks, I'm not sure if you can see me very well, but compared to my previous ice shelter, I can tell you that this thing is massive. I can stand up straight and I'm about 6'2". So I can easily walk around. I can tell that there's plenty of room if I want to bring out, a, I don't have to sit on a bucket anymore. I can bring out a chair, like one of those folding camp chairs, but just the square footage on the floor, very, very large, especially when it's just me, but it'll also be comfortable having two, maybe even three people in here. Uh, looks like some little net baggies, which you can stick your phone and stuff like that in. That's super good. Oh, here we've got the flaps for some ventilation. So that's cool. This thing is huge, guys. This thing is huge. I got to say, I'm pretty pumped about it. It was a little bit more of a struggle getting it up for the first time than I anticipated. I have a feeling that'll get easier with time. Definitely, I think the benefits are going to outweigh any of that. Just having this much room on the ice, using the little Chappelle shelter that I've had for probably 10 years. I mean, it's cramped in there if you've got all your gear and just one guy fishing. I usually sit in and fish horizontal or diagonal. Now with this thing, that's not gonna be a problem. I can have multiple holes, plenty of room for my electronics, um, heaters, provisions, any of those associated items like that. Now this is not the insulated version. They do make an insulated version, but actually the fabric here feels like pretty good quality and it's got some number that I don't know the meaning of related to its, I think, wind resistance capabilities. Regardless, it's, it's gonna be a lot better than what I've grown accustomed to over the last 10 years or so. A very inexpensive choice, just based on first impressions and spending a few minutes with it and not having actually fished out of it yet and I had it on the ice, I can say a few things. It's extremely large, very convenient um, as far as the amount of space. There's some handy storage pockets built right in, very portable, assuming I can collapse it back down and get it back into the bag. Potential downsides, the fact that I will have to, I think, use the ice anchors more frequently and just the sort of unwieldiness that I experienced on my first try setting it up that may not turn out to be an ongoing issue i have a feeling it won't actually 
Now let's see how easy it is to take down and um, get back into that bag. Pop in the walls. This is already going much more smoothly, gang. Okay, the walls have been popped in. I'm going to pop in the roof. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to sort of fold it up. So I guess this is where that elastic strap is going to come in handy. So the Velcro strap actually has a nice uh, doubled over loop on it. Okay, so I've got the strap wrapped around it. Now I'm going to see if I can get it back in the bag. I'm going feet first. The same direction it came out. Yeah. There we go. Okay, no problem. It kind of just goes in like an oversized camp chair. And there it is. I'll pack back up. Ready to put it on my shoulders. Hike on out of here. All right, fishing buddies, stick around. The review's not over. I'm going to get some on-ice footage of this thing this evening, probably tomorrow as well. So this is not just an unboxing. I'm going to get some footage of actually using this thing on the ice, setting it up on the ice, probably dealing with some wind. It's supposed to be a little windy this weekend. So stick with me. Uh, more of the review coming up. Again, my name is Mark, otherwise known as Eat Munch. If you like fishing, like I do. If you like nonsense, like I do. If you like fishing gear, fishing reviews of gear, fishing apparel, mostly fishing, eating fish, mostly fishing, then I suggest you subscribe to my channel. There's no reason not to, really. Hit that subscribe button, click the little notification bell so you don't miss anything. That part's very important. So anyway, stay tuned for the next section of this video review of the Eskimo Quick Fish 3 Ice Shelter. That portion, of course, will take place on the ice. I'll show you where it's going tonight. I'm just step out of the basement here. I'm lucky enough to work from home. Now if you look down there, this is the cove that I live on. And that's the main lake, or a part of the main lake. Tonight, I'm gonna go out to where my cove sort of meets the main lake, and I'm gonna do some channel cat fishing through the ice. I've not targeted channel cat through the ice yet this year. I'm gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna do it inside my brand new Eskimo Quick Fish 3 ice fishing shelter. All right, folks, it is getting a little windier, and it's getting a little darker, so it's going to make things a little more challenging. Let's see how well I can do setting up this ice shelter in this wind. It's a three-man shelter. It's kind of big for one guy to handle, so we'll see how that goes. First thing to do here is try and get this top hold up. Worked out pretty easy. Fishing people, fishing buddies. Finally, I'm set up inside my new ice shack. Um, learned a couple of little lessons along the way. I set up the, the tent at sort of right angles to where uh, the, the direction that the wind was blowing. So with these little pop out sides, the wind was blowing directly into one of those, so it kept wanting to pop the side in. Now the wind has died down a little bit, so I don't think that'll have to be, or that'll be as much of a problem. But next time I will definitely try to point one of the corners of the shelter into the wind. As opposed to going squared off against it. That was just kind of a rookie mistake on my part. Got so much room in here, I don't know what to do with it. 
I do realize though that I need to get some hooks so I can hang things and keep them off of the icy floor uh, and the wet floor because there is no floor to this shelter as you can see I also didn't really line up the shelter very well according to where my holes in the ice are as you can also see definitely going to consolidate my gear a little bit uh, so other than the lack of I think it'd be I love the windows they do include a few pouches on this particular uh, unit I wish they had included um, some type of loops or straps or something just for hanging things around uh, I think that would have you know made things quite a bit easier uh, I'm not sure if you can see up there I rigged up some LED lights that I'm that I'm running off of the same battery as my sonar I got all the room in the world inside my new Eskimo uh, Quickfish 3 ice shack I'm gonna set things up a little bit differently next time I definitely have learned a couple of lessons on my first outing uh, but just the sheer amount of room that I have access to in here and how easy it is to keep it warm uh, night and day difference in terms of comfort you can see I don't even have I don't have a coat on gloves heaters on as low as it can go granted it's not that cold of a night um, but it seems to be a good quality fabric um, I should probably actually open the ventilation it's getting a little humid it's getting a little humid in here but overall I'm really excited I think this is really gonna just work out great for me and if I want to have you know my old shack was a two-man shack and it was tight in there if you want to put a, a heater sonar let alone two sonars and a heater it just was it was just too tight um, you're sitting on buckets whereas now Again, don't know if you can see me, but I feel like I'm sitting on Easy Street. I feel like I'm sitting in a mansion. I got all the elbow room in the world, and you know I'm I'm filling up maybe you know maybe a third of the area here. Could put a guy there. Could put a guy there. Some holes in the middle. Honestly, I think you could fish four. It'd be tight to fish four in here, but you could do it. But two, three, no problem. One thing I will say, I need to bring some, I need some hooks, I need some, some type of hooks, hangers, that type of thing to keep more things off of the wet ice that tends to develop, and I also probably just need uh, some kind of little, you know, table or even a milk crate, something like that. Um, would be good that I could stack some things on top of and keep them off the ground. Lessons learned. Live and learn, baby. Live and learn.